question number 318 in GMAT official guide quant review 2020. This question is also present in some of the latest quant reviews but probably as a different question number. Before we start if you find this video helpful please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and motivates me to keep creating these free videos for you. Let's get started trying to understand what the question gives us and what kind of inferences we can draw from the question itself. So we are given an XY plane that much is straightforward. There is a shaded region and what it says is it consists of all points that lie above the graph of a curve which is y x square minus 4x and also below x axis. So there is a shaded region as you can see here it is below the x-axis and curve that bounds this shaded region is y is y equals x square minus 4x. We're also given a point AB it's not shown but what we are given about point AB is only one thing that B has to be less than 0. That means that point AB must lie in quadrants number 3 or 4 because B is less than 0 and 3 and 4 are the quadrants where y is less than zero since y is b is the y coordinate of point a b before we go into the statements let's look at the possibilities where a and b could be so a and b could be in quadrant number three in quadrant number four a and b could be in the shaded area they could be on the curve they could be outside of the curve somewhere right below or beyond this area also somewhere on this side nothing is given no relation between point AB or the curve is given. We are asked to find if AB lies in the shaded area. So if there is a possibility that AB is within the shaded area, we have to figure that much out. Let's, let's break it down a little bit, what we are given and how some of the inferences we can make to help us solve the question. So inference number one, if there is a point XY on the curve, that means since it is on the curve, the y point on the curve is equal to x square minus 4x. This comes from coordinate geometry. The corollary is also true, which means if I am given y equals x square minus 4x, I am not given what point it is, whether it lies on the curve. All I am given is for a point xy, y equals x, x square minus 4x, then it implies, since it satisfies this condition, and we have drawn the curve for all x, y that satisfy that condition, that means that the point x, y must be on curve. Number three, you can easily see that between x equal to zero and x equal to four, y on the curve is less than zero. And beyond that, if y, if x were somewhere here, then you can see that the corresponding y is positive. Same thing here, if x was somewhere less than zero, then the y will be greater than zero. So only within this area where x equals zero and x equals four, between these two values is y negative for the curve. I'm talking for the curve only. So armed with these three inferences, let's start solving this question. I'm given in the first that zero is less than a less than four and a is the x coordinate for point a, b. I'm basically saying that a lies here. If you remember, we had said the possibilities of a, b were like this, and we are now given that a is between 0 and 4. However, there are still three possibilities between 0 and 4 for a, b. It could be inside the shaded area. It could be right on the curve. Nothing is given about b. So b may be satisfying a square minus 4a, or it could be outside of the curve. Since I'm not given, Sometimes I'm getting yes to the ask questions. The other time I'm getting no to the ask question. So statement one is insufficient. Okay, for statement number two, I'm given a square minus 4a is less than b. Let's just call a square minus 4a as c. And we are given b is greater than c. And we are also given the zero is greater than b right here. So this is what we know. Now let's express c again because I considered this a square minus 4a as c. So if there was a point AC, A comma C, where A is the X coordinate and C is the Y coordinate, since C satisfies the A square minus 4A, which is the equation of the curve, 
point AC must lie on the curve. Is that clear? So now let's draw it out. What I am given is this curve and what I have figured out is that this point AC would lie on the curve. Where could it lie? Here, 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 here here anywhere right it's nothing is given at least at this point now so c is less than zero is what i'm given so that means that these possibilities are not true it has to be somewhere here all right so c could be here 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 i'm also given b is greater than c remember b and c are y coordinates right so if i have a point here this is c or this is another possibility of c or this is another possibility of C. So since B is greater than C for this point, B will be somewhere here because that's the only way B can be greater than C. This is the negative side of Y axis. So negative two would be less than negative one, for example. For this point, where does B greater than C lie? So anywhere here, for this point, anywhere here, and for this point, anywhere here. So what you're seeing is already, given the B is greater than C, B is above the curve, and hence B has to be in the shaded area. So this statement is sufficient to answer the question. One more important point I want to convey here is that since C is given to be less than zero, and we had said that it is only possible in this area, I'm already given that A is between zero and four as a result of this condition, C less than zero. But that is, as we saw in the statement one, that was not sufficient to answer the question. The way we were able to answer this question is with additional condition where we said B is also greater than C. So B has to be somewhere now inside the shaded region for this to be true. Because if B were down here, then it will not be greater than C, it will be less than C since we are looking at the negative Y axis. I hope you find this helpful. If there are any doubts or lingering questions, please feel free to comment on the video and look for additional details in the question description. Thank you very much.